Hey, Rhea Rhea, Dumpster Diva here with you this evening. Um, went out earlier because it's such a beautiful day out and uh, got a haul that I was not expecting at all, to be honest. And I would like to show you it. Um, yeah, it's dark out right now. But when I did this, it was during the daytime and I got, oh, I got so overheated. It was 80 degrees here in uh, Ohio and it was funny because last week, right around this time, it was kind of cold. And on Thursday, we ended up uh, with snow. Yeah. So this is how the weather works. And not just a few days before that, I was in shorts. And now, well, of course, being 80 plus degrees, I'm in shorts again. So I thought I'd show you this uh, fantastic haul I got um, from some of it. A little bit of it is from Dollar Tree. Um one small thing from Dollar General, and I might actually go back up there later tonight and kind of look around and see what I can find, uh, because I think after they close here, which should be sooner rather than later, I might find some more stuff because they're penny deals, I believe, that might be there. I don't know. So I'm going to have to go look and probably find out. But anyway, so the first thing I'm going to show you is not really that great. I mean, I guess it's what you figure, whatever. <laughs> but here is a box, a single box, well, two pack of halogen bulbs. I'm covering up the person's name, but you see it says 11620. It says used one on register three. Okay, so why didn't you keep the other one for the rest of the registers? Okay, well, guess what? I get a bulb. I'm not upset about that. So we come to our CVS haul. So let me show you that. Unlock, unlock all my doors here and lock my trunk. So I don't have any problems here. <laughs> I'm going to show you first in here. This will be going to the pantry tomorrow, but I got to take these inside because it's going to supposed to be really, really hot tomorrow too in the 80s. There's about 21 bags of hot cocoa Hershey's Kisses. Okay, so those got to go inside, definitely for sure. So those came from CVS. But then the big thing, and the best part, which is awesome, and none of this stuff is expired. Here we go. And look what I did. I actually did something. I actually organized what I got. Sorry, I flashed the light there. But I will show you the few things I got here. So we have two things of steel cut oats. They are not expired yet. A box of Pete's coffee for the Keurig. Major Dickerson's blend. I don't know who that is, but well somebody I guess <laughs> um three jars of mayonnaise and I'll show you the date on this they are not expired by any means but let's throw them away because they might be soon a bag of cookie mix this is not expired apricots I actually thought they were prunes but these are apricots apricots are pretty good um some tropical blend um fruit blend stuff like the pineapples and bananas and all that little tropical mix there um got a bag of community coffee it smells so good here on the back of my car um and a kit kat bar filed by itself and then this was part of it this was actually in with the um the Hershey Kisses, I think. Yeah. That, so there was a pair of compression socks. I was out here talking to my neighbor and I gave them to her because I asked her if she could use them. And she said, yeah, sure. So I gave them to her. I just kept the packaging because they'd fell out anyway. I got three packages of marshmallows, three Pop-Tart cereals. Actually, actually looks pretty good. None of these are expired, mind you. A uh, bottle of distilled vinegar. Three bottles 
of organic apple cider. Okay, so here's something if you don't know. So see, it says on there, if you look really closely, contains mother of vinegar. So if you turn it upside down, you see all that fuzzy stuff. Well, there's nothing wrong with the vinegar. That's just the mother in it. That's the stuff that if you're using for dietary, for cleaning, anything like that, it, it helps. So, but then I get a big jug of vinegar here. There was actually two of them and I could not get the other one. I tried to, but sometimes uh, I can't grab things that I would like to grab. But I have a box of bunny fruit snacks. I actually thought these were the Annie's like uh, pasta or whatever, but this was a nice surprise too. Um, a box of Kind Bars, two boxes of the Pop-Tart Bites, a box of Dunkin' Donuts coffee, and I have five boxes of the Velveeta shells. None of these are expired yet either. Um, a box of Nature Valley Roasted Nut Crunch. Two boxes of the classic trail mix bars. Nothing wrong with those. Another thing of kind bars. I have three of the Fire One bars. And then the chickpea rot rotini by Barilla. And two things of coffee. So this was out of one, well, one haul and a half, I guess you could say because I got stuff actually from three places. So I'd say three, one big haul and two mini hauls. But then here, back in the bag here, I have three cans of cat food. Or actually not three, I'm sorry, nine, because I can count today too. Um, I have nine cans of cat food. That is actually from my uh, neighbor. She found out that her cat cannot um, eat um, that type of cat food anymore. So she asked me if I knew anybody that could take it. And I said, absolutely. I said, um, I could take it up to the pantry. I said, there's people all the time looking for uh, stuff for their animals. And, you know, that's a, actually a nice thing to put up in the pantry. But um, what I'm going to do is, actually, the, the Bath and Body Works bag having it in the car is so handy today. Um, I'm actually going to take the candy in the house with it being such a high temperature. I don't want it to melt. And of course I have my air on and that could have changed next week. I could have my heat on again. So, um, <laughs> that being said, I'm actually, I think I'm going to venture up one more time to the Dollar General and see what I can find. And if I don't find anything, it's no harm, no foul. But, um, because I, I did find a fantastic amount, you know, God provide it. And that's the great part. I just, I think it's really sad when we have people going hungry and we're wasting food. It's just a sad, sad thing. So, um, we got to do our part. If it's, if it's by dumpster diving and donating, if that's what you choose to do. Or if you're able to donate to somebody or donate to a charity or anything like that, you don't realize how much is going to help them out. So um, it just amazes me that these stores, I know they probably get more money off of it um, writing it off than donating it. And that's just the really sad part. But what, you know, what we can do is we can make sure that we help the best we can help each other. But I am actually going to take this stuff to the pantry. Like I said, tomorrow, it's just, it's too late. In the, really, it's not really too late in the evening per se, I shouldn't say. But I don't like to go up there in the dark. And I'm sitting there with my flashers on because it's on the side of the road. And it makes it kind of difficult to get in. And my neighbor's dog is barking. Because he's crazy. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> he's he's a little bit, uh, he's a little bit out there, so. Uh. I have to kind of get used to that. Uh, when I come up to my door, he goes nuts and he's way across the way. But it is what it is. It's such as life. But So I think that's what I'm going to do. I really honestly, I need to cook some dinner. Yeah, I should have probably been cooking dinner 
a couple hours ago. But it's okay. I mean, we have, it's not like we still have leftovers from Easter, so it's not a huge deal. I mean, we can uh, eat that, so. But I am going to, like I said, I'm going to check out what's up here at the Dollar General again, see if I can find anything. If not, I'm just going to come back home and enjoy the evening and maybe, just maybe, um, I'll find something. The problem was earlier, too, trying to dig in there, somebody had threw away their personal trash, which I was not really happy about. Because it was a big wire shelf and this big, huge, antique-looking chair. I mean, it looked like it, somebody's cat had rubbed its hair all over it. It's, I don't know, it was gross, but um, they had that in there and they had, like, other stuff. Hence the fact that, yes, I did wear my gloves, and I did wear my gloves today. I'm very proud of myself because I have a bad habit of not wearing my gloves. Now, the, now yesterday when I went, the one thing I grabbed, I wear my gloves? No. But I do clean my hands off. I do spray and sanitize my hands off because that stuff can be pretty gross. Sometimes, sometimes not. Depends on what you're digging for, honestly. But it's not... I don't want to say everything's like covered and stuff because it's not. That's not the truth. Most of the time they just throw it in there in a bag and then you can grab it. Well, this was just strewed throughout the uh, whole uh, trash can. So I just grabbed what I could with my grabber and, you know, took what I could. And then also I had some stuff that I didn't feel was... I, I know about dates. It's not a big deal. They probably would have been okay. But because now the pantry's going, well, don't put anything in here outdated. I was like, okay, well, I'm not, I don't want to waste this food I have. It's, it was some of the um, Chips Ahoy brownies, cookies, and um, these pizzarelli things. They're like pizzellis or something. I know I probably totally messed that up. But um, I took those to a friend who actually um, feeds the critters from outside. It keeps them out of her garbage, too. And she is, she's a wonderful person. She takes in uh, sick cats and she's got a lot of cats. I couldn't tell you the number that she has, but um, I took them to her because she, um, she actually feeds the critters outside. Maybe people like that. Maybe people don't like that. But, um, you know, I think that, I think it's a wonderful thing she's doing. I mean, it keeps them, it keeps them from being harmed and it's just, it's nice to have them, you know, you know have nature around you so but I am going to head up to the DG see what I can find if I don't find anything it wasn't no harm no foul and um if you like this video like share subscribe uh tell your friends have your friends tell their friends yeah um <laughs> but um I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your suggestions. And um, just wanted to also give a shout out again to uh, Diving With Purpose, Cindy, and to um, Dumpster Cats. Yay, Dumpster Cats and Cindy. Woohoo! For Diving With Purpose. You guys are awesome. And you guys have actually taught me a lot. I still am kind of in the baby steps of learning, but I look at your videos. I also look at Just Me, Kathy. So if you see... Just Me Kathy come up, or Grab It Fast, or Scrap Dog, and Double D, just to name a few, and I don't know if I missed anybody. Oh, Freakin' Frugal, you gotta watch them. And if you're wanting to go out and dumpster dive, and you need to learn something, these guys know what to do. Let me tell you, they're awesome, all of them. And you should really watch their videos. I mean, it's, very, it's, it's fun to watch them. I mean, yeah... You can't watch me because it's like I'm hiding my face, yeah. But eventually, eventually, I think I will decide to turn the camera around. But I don't know when that will be. Um, that's a me thing. It's not a you thing. So, but have a wonderful night. I'm going to go check out more dumpsters. And God bless you. And I will talk to you guys soon.